to God. Who is the Savior of my life. Because of time. So I'm going to read a few verses and then I'm going to skip around until we get to the end of the 32nd verse. And it starts with Luke 15 and I read 1 through 4 and then 8 and 9 and then 31 and 32. Hallelujah. And it reads, Now the tax collectors and sinners were all gathering around to hear them. But the Pharisees and the teachers of the law murmured. This man welcomed sinners and eat with them. Then Jesus told this parable. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Does he not leave the ninety-nine in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he is found? Verse 8. Or suppose a woman has ten silver coins and loses one. Does she not light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it? And when she finds it, she calls her friends and neighbors together and say, Rejoice with me. I have found my lost coin. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 31 and 32. My son, the father said, you are always with me, and everything I have is yours. But we had to celebrate and be glad, yes, sir. because this brother of yours was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. The message this morning is encouraging and yet challenging to us as Christians. Yeah. Here we have three parables that were told by Jesus. Yeah. And the first parable, when it's talking about the lost sheep, yeah. was more targeted toward the audience of the tax collectors and the sinners. Yeah. All right. Because when Jesus spoke in parables, he spoke in parables according to <laughs> the people he was talking to so they could understand exactly what it meant. Yeah. That he, the point that he was trying to make. Yeah. And the second parable, the lost coin, was to the Pharisees and the teachers of the law. Yeah. And the third one was for everyone. For me. <laughs> and each one gives us a blueprint yeah. of what we should do as yeah. Christians. As Christians. All right. All right. All right. That's good. So when you look at the first one, and he's talking about the test collector, the first thing you realize is, when he gets to the Pharisees and the teachers of the law that was there, they had an issue. They had an issue. They had a problem. They began to murmur. Yeah. And so it is so with us that are Christians that we begin to proclaim the word of God. You're going to have someone that's going to have something negative to say. Right. Or going to have right. someone that's going to try to find fault in what you said. Yeah. Or you're going to have someone that's going to try to re-justify what you said according yeah. to what they know. Yeah. Right. So don't be surprised if you're sitting around educated people and you're sitting, you're actually sitting around a bunch of educated fools. All because right. they don't have the word of God in oh, them. Yeah. If they don't know the word of God, they're yeah. not going to understand what it is Come you're trying now. to tell them. Yes, so right. Jesus began to tell this parable Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. to them that yeah. was the tax collectors and the sinners. Yeah. And he says, then Jesus told them this. Yeah. Suppose one of you have a hundred sheep and loses one. All right. Does you not leave the ninety-nine in an open country and go find that one and find it joyfully? Yeah. Put it on your shoulders. Yes. You don't just find it, yes. but when you get it, yes. it has a special place. Yes. And so it is with us, with God. Yes, Lord. As we were out in the world, yes. doing everything was big and bad enough to do, yes. God saw fit yes, he did. to go and pick us up yes, 
Yes, he did. And put us on his shoulders. Yes, he did. Hallelujah. Yes, he did. And carry us forth. Yes, Lord. Jesus. And it goes on to say, and he goes home and then he calls his friends and neighbors together and say, rejoice with me. Yes. I have found my lost sheep. My lost sheep. Every time someone comes to Christ, there's a rejoicing in heaven. Right, right. Come on, come on. Every time someone makes a decision to go for Christ, there's yes. a rejoicing in heaven. Yes. And so it is should be on earth. Amen. We should be rejoicing, rejoicing every time every someone time. decides to yes. come to his side. Yes. We should be rejoicing yes. every time we get the opportunity to witness yes. to someone else. Yes. There should be a rejoicing in heaven. Yes. And sometimes we have to leave what is familiar to us. Yes. We have to leave what is called our comfort zone. Yes. And we have to go out and find that lost sheep. Yes, we have to go out and find that one who is yes. seeking and looking for God. Yes, Hallelujah. Right. Yes, right. Yes, Thank amen. you, Lord. Yes, because it's amen. risky to be a lost yes, sheep. Yes, because when you out there by yourself, the world will beat you up, yes, will yes, eat you up, yes, and will yes, almost yes, utterly destroy you. Yes, but how many of you know there is strength in numbers? Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, if you yes, gather yes, one together, because at 99, so they were protected one with another. Yes, but that one that was out there by yes, himself, wandering yes, and lost, was always up for crowd, was up for the predators yes. to just eat them and take yes. them away. Right. So Jesus said, hold on, we're going to leave these 99 because that's strength in that number. Yes. And I'm going to go out, the almighty God, yes. the all powerful God, and I'm going to go get that one on, that is lost. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Then he goes on to tell this parable to the, tax, to the Pharisees and the teachers of the law. Yes. Because they were sitting there. Yes. And you never know who's in your company. You never know. You don't know who's around you. So yes. he begins to tell this parable of the lost coin. Yes. And he goes on to say, oh, suppose a woman has ten silver coins. And I looked that up, and it took for a woman, a one coin is like a day's wage, wages. Mm -hmm. So that's a whole day pay she done lost. Right. Right. Oh, Jesus. That's good. Oh, Y'all missed that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about anybody else. <laughs> but I can't afford to lose a whole day pay. Because at some point through the week, I might be a little hungry. Or I may have to rob Peter to pay Paul if I lose a whole day pay. That's me. Hallelujah. And it goes on to say, does she not fight, not does she not light a lamp and sweep the house and search for it carefully until she finds it? Yes. And when she finds it, she calls her friends and neighbors together and say, Rejoice with me. I have found my lost coin. Hallelujah. Yes, we should be rejoicing with one another. Yes, sir. Amen. If, if you happy, I'm happy. Yes, sir. If you sad, I'm sad. Yes, sir. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. But one thing I know is that we've been endured for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Amen. So I've been weep with you for a little while, but after a while I'm going to realize that I found my lost coin. Amen. And I'm going to begin to rejoice, not only for you, but with you. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Amen. And the last parable, yes, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Is normally called the particle sun. Right. And we are all familiar with this. Yes. But it was something that God showed me that I thought was so awesome. Yes. Because we always focus on the son That's and right. what he did yeah. and right. how he did. And we thank God he was found. Yes, Lord Jesus. But the Lord showed me the father. The father. All right. Jesus. Jesus. 